We do indeed, and I've just started hear hearing squirrels alarming. I think we could be on the right track, perhaps, of these lions. But we're with the elephants at the moment. It's just mom and calf. There don't seem to be any more around unless there's a big herd in the distance. So they could be a satellite party, just a small group. I'm just listening very, very carefully. We know we can't trust squirrels all the time because they tell stories. Could be a raptor flying about too. But we will go and investigate in a minute. We can always come back to the elephant. Say, hey, just off the road, just feeding, eating all sorts of lovely things. I haven't quite figured out what she's particularly eating. She she's actually doesn't seem 100% happy with us. Hello, girl, it's okay. Because every now and then she'll sort of turn her head very quickly towards us and sort of flare her ears. Uh, it could be because she's on her own. She's got, she's got a young calf at her side. Maybe she's stressed. Maybe there's a... Uh, a young elephant brewing inside her. She's got some secretion coming from her temporal glands. She, I think I can hear one or two more elephants a little bit further away. It might be a herd. Maybe she's in, in front of the herd at the moment. But I'm happy. Finally. Didn't get much time to spend with that elephant bull yesterday. We had that joined the Nsuku sighting. We've got two now. Oof, this wind it really is picking up. And again, it could also upset this cow quite a bit. We know that they don't like the wind very much. <laughs> Arlo Ramu, you said that you couldn't see her at first. And very camouflaged at this time of the year. Uh, it is amazing. Without that tail moving, you actually could catch somebody off guard quite, quite easily. If she stood completely still and you said to somebody, can you see the animal in this picture? I reckon you could fool them quite easily. It's amazing how gray blends into the browns. Uh, they really do sort of camouflage so nicely at this time of the year against the bark of the trees. You can hear that wind. It's really unpleasant. I wonder if all the animals are going to be out in the open or if they're going to go down into the drainage lines. I think the lions are probably doing that exact same thing, trying to keep out of this miserable wind at the moment. Now, our squirrel has stopped alarming, so I'm not convinced that there were any lions. Maybe it just saw a raptor, or maybe it was doing a territorial call. I'm not sure. These squirrels, you really just never know with them. Let me go, if I go a little bit further forward, maybe we'll get a better view of that youngster. Let's see. Let's try reposition. Oh, that's very loud. Uh, are you going to walk into the gap? Yes, that's a bit better. Like I said, not a very young elephant, probably about four, maybe even closer to five years old now. It's got relatively long tusks. And if it takes two steps forward, we'll have a nice view of it coming, coming in this direction. And I'm just scanning off to the distance to see if I can't see any cats laying in the long grass. Yeah, this is where we need the buffalo now. And obviously the massive open plains are the first areas where the grass sort of drops below knee height. Which you can clearly see that the heavy grazers haven't been through here. Besides the elephants. But even they need some help from the buffalo to really sort of shorten that grass. I wonder where they are. I really wonder where those buffalo are and why they haven't arrived this year. Quite interesting, actually, because every year they come. I know they're down in the south. They're seeing huge herds of buffalo on a regular basis. There is a lot of water down there, so maybe that's it. Maybe once those areas start to dry out, then they'll come up north. Mm, this sweet, though. Now, I believe my life in Africa, you're actually wondering when I thought that the buffalo would return. Well, I said ages ago, I thought that they were going to be here by the end of July. We're now almost at the end of August and they still haven't arrived, barring a few Duggar boys, a few of the buffalo bulls. So I'm actually done with guessing now. I have no idea when these, when these buffalo are going to arrive because I reckon that we're going to have rain. It's not uncommon for us to have a bit of rain at the beginning of September, end of August. Maybe then. Maybe they'll only return uh, around that time. 
but it was the greatest thing uh, when I was guiding down at Earth Lodge at Sabi Sabi there every single day from about normally from about the beginning of July we would see a herd of t between 200 and 400 buffalo come and rest at one of the dams and just in front of the lodge and they'd sort of relax around there and then they'd normally go back south towards the Sabi River uh, you're trying to take your guests to the airstrip and you'd be late for the planes because they just have a huge herd of buffalo. They've decided they're going to sleep in the middle of the road. So that was always quite funny. I, m I actually miss that. I'm trying to navigate through. And it's one of my favorite things to do is actually sit in and amongst a huge herd of, of buffalo. It's, it's really an amazing uh, thing to witness, but that might still uh, be to come. Well, let's hope that, that, that that's the case. I'll be 